Hermes and Hermeticism. To know Hermeticism, know Hermes. And who is Hermes? He is known as Dehuti Pa'a'a Pa'a'a Pa'a'a, the great, the great, the great. There are three parts to Hermes. The Egyptian known as Thoth. He is the god of the moon, wisdom, writing, hieroglyphs, magic, science, art, judgment, and the dead. He is also known as Hermes, Trismegistus, also known as Thrice Great, or in Greek, Ao, Ao, Ao. Equated with Thoth, he is the author of the 42 books of the Corpus Hermetica. The Greek Hermes is the god of trade, heralds, merchants, commerce, roads, thieves, trickery, sports, travelers, and athletes in ancient Greek religion and mythology. He is also the emissary and messenger of the gods, the divine trickster, and the god of boundaries and the transgression of these boundaries. Also the patron of herdsmen, thieves, graves, and heralds. In Rome, he is also known as Mercury. He is a god of financial gain, commerce, eloquence, messages, communication, scrying and divination, travelers, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves. He also serves as a guide of souls to the underworld. Hermeticism is known specifically by the 18 books of the Corpus Hermeticum, is known as Prisca Theologia, which is the first theology that was given to man by God. Hermeticism is an esoteric philosophy with religious undertones attributed to Hermes Trismegistus, thrice great Hermes. This philosophy is ingrained in the Western mystery tradition and is considered to be of extreme importance during both the Renaissance and the Reformation. Its origin comes from a Prisca Theologia, a doctrine that affirms the existence of a single true theology that is present in all religions and that was given by God to man in far antiquity. Many writers, including Lactantius, Cyprian of Carthage, Augustine of Hippo, Marsilio Ficino, Giovanni Pico della Mirandola, Giordano Bruno, Tommaso Campanella, Sir Thomas Brown, and Ralph Waldo Emerson all consider Hermes Trismegistus to be everything from a wise pagan prophet to the great god Thoth of ancient Egypt. Unfortunately, it was only the practical aspects of Hermetic writings that attracted the attention of most scientists. Wise ones like Sir Isaac Newton placed great faith in the concept of an unadulterated, pure, ancient doctrine which he studied vigorously to aid his understanding of the physical world through magic, alchemy, and astrology. Hermeticism has also influenced and inspired societies based on its principles and philosophies. Currently, Freemasonry, Rosicrucianism, Templarism, Witchcraft, and many others give Hermes the credit that is due to him. He is the archetype of the perfect magician. In his Egyptian form of Thoth, he is the wise and sage, learned and powerful, his words commanded all reality to his will. In Hermes, he is a psychopomp moving between the three worlds, consort to Akate, inserting him into the mysteries being a guide and hero. And as Mercury, the messenger and herald of the gods, a practical and helpful god that can be called upon daily to help in our modern, fast-paced commercial world. 